Hey guys, thanks for uh, coming in. Uh, my name is Goldy. Uh, welcome to Google Apps video tutorial. Uh, tutorial number six. Uh, so in our previous tutorial, uh, we have uh, created a C name like here in our DNA just to make sure that Google can verify our domain ownership uh, and activate the services. So now if you see here, instead of saying up updating, it says the URLs that means now the services are activated so you can go ahead and click on these URLs and uh, start using document sites and, and calendars. So chat is gonna take some time so let's leave it and now this is the time of activating our emails right so for that we need to uh, change the MX records in our DNS so for that let us just click on activate email and it's gonna show you some some instructions based on your DNS provider. So if you have GoDaddy, that's fine. Uh, else you can choose your one. So for mine is GoDaddy. So let me just check with that. And if you see here, it provides a lot of MX records, but you need to enter uh, to your DNS, right? So we'll just copy that right from here. And just just uh, notice it says host name at the rate goes to address the server. Priority 10. Let's go back to DNS. Right. Total DNS we are in. If you see here, it says add new MX records. Click on that. Host name. If you notice, there was add the rate. This is the address. Priority is 10. TTL is one week. Click OK. Right. So this is uh, one. Of Kind of, you know, we, we have updated one uh, MX record, right? So it's gonna say record successfully created. Great, perfect. We are doing great, right? Let's let's get back and copy the other one. This one and same thing. Come back, uh, create uh, another MX record. Uh, type at the rate and then paste it. But make sure now the priority would be twenty as we already created the one with 10 and, and ok just click ok here and it's gonna be created soon and in the meantime let me just go ahead and copy the third one right. copy come back and oh man it's gonna take so much time uh -huh. Uh, yep, you're done. Right, bang, F record successfully created. Okay, add new mix record. Same way, uh, add the rate, paste it here. Priority would be 30 this time. TTL again, one week. Okay, let's go back. Copy this one. Uh, even you. you it will also work if you just enter a couple of them, but still, uh, just to be a safer side, it, it, it's better if you, you know, uh, trying to copy all of that and paste it at, uh, paste it here. So it's going to just take a few minutes, and we will make sure that everything would work as expected. And so, uh, 40, and this is the last one. And so, uh, let's go back. Click OK, add new one, uh, add the weight, paste the server address, uh, choose it to 50 TTL one week, and OK. Alright, so, <coughs> I'm sorry. Alright, perfect, you, you guys are doing great. Alright, so we are done here. If you see here, it says 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50, and we have all the MX records suggested by Google. And now this is the time to go ahead to Google and tell Google, hey Google, I, I'm done with those, those, those uh, steps. Now go ahead and activate my email. See here, guys, instead of saying not activate, now it says updating. That means uh, Google is now checking your MX records. So Google says this may take up to 48 hours to complete, right? But uh, uh, usually it's gonna get completed within a couple of hours. So uh, I guess you you guys have enjoyed uh, this this uh, 
initial phase of our video tutorial series in which we have uh, taught you uh, how to buy domain name and what is Google Apps, what are the different editions of Google Apps and how to set up Google Apps account and uh, how to, uh, you know, how to activate your uh, Google Apps and then uh, finally how to activate your emails and, and other services. So I hope you guys have enjoyed it and in our next tutorials we will be coming up with some great features and functionalities where we will tell you uh, how to rename the URLs so that instead of accessing your, your calendar at google.com slash calendar slash your, your, slash your uh, domain dot com and so it, it's better we make it a short one like like calendar dot uh, your domain dot com so we will cover that in our next tutorials so keep watching guys thank you so much this is Google Lee. take care bye bye